Well, here's Mother Daddy Longlegs. A pair of them, actually. I only threw, threw them out the other day and they climbed back in again. I didn't kill them. I threw them out of the tub and back onto the floor. But after I left, they moved back in again. So there's no stopping them. They don't seem to do any harm. But I wouldn't let... I draw the line at redbacks. I don't let redback spiders indoors. They don't seem to do anything wrong, except mind their own business. And they probably catch a few flies. There they are anyway. I'll disturb them just a tiny bit, just so we can see a bit of activity. <laughs> Come on, put a little show on. People on YouTube like to see a bit of movement because it's a visual medium. There's an old shower hose thing. Come on, put on a little display for us. Oh, frustrating. There we go. A bit of a display. Is that husband and wife? If it's her husband, I only threw one spider out a few days ago, so where did she get that husband from in the meantime when she moved back in? Where did she find him? Oh. Actually, these aren't the only creatures we have. I know this is strange, but for some reason we have little frogs in our toilet. We're connected to the sewage, but when you open the toilet seat, sometimes we have little frogs. I don't know how they get in, but um, I haven't photographed them. It's a, it's a bit frightening when you open the toilet seat and you find little frogs in there. It's very scary.